we we should talk a little bit about Mexico. Ch- Chicharito did a video. Uh, uh, bro, they done. They dusty, bro. Why are we talking about Mexico? <laughs> That's old news, no, bro. No, but they played at the Azteca. They played against Jamaica. Did we, they? Yes, they did. I saw the team show up. I don't know about playing. <laughs> no, they scored. Yo, Jamaica? You draw to Jamaica? Yo, shouts to Reggae Boys. That was incredible. It was a huge, two huge goals. I'll give you this much insight. So we're doing rehearsals on the show, and we mm. did predictions. And I said uh-huh. it was going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. Yeah. Or Jamaica would, would win 2-1. And everyone called me crazy. People said, well, I heard 3-1, 4-1. Uh, Jamaica didn't have Andre Blake. And that's all I kept hearing. They don't have Andre Blake. And I'm like, yo, Mexico got nobody, bro. <laughs> like, Mexico looked bad. I mean, it, so they the, the whether the team is good or not, like they're going to, this is a very transitional phase yeah. uh, for them. You figure with a manager named Coca, you'd have a lot of energy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's okay. Yeah. I mean, look. You know, you figured you'd, you'd, a little bit of Coca would make you stand I'm, up. I'm telling you, you don't hear these assessments on <laughs> some of the MLD shows. Um, you know? But the, the, the main, uh, I think, talking point was that the team was booed. The Mexican team was booed at the Azteca. Memo Choa in particular was booed. That guy's a legend, dude. And they, but they got booed when getting on the pitch. They didn't even get a, an opportunity to disappoint the the fans. Bro, they just, Coca's like, I just got here. Could y'all, <laughs> could y'all leave the toxicity for maybe the second half? Yo, that was the other guy. I'm not Tata, bro. Um, so it, it, it's yeah, and Chicharito um uh, did a video on his uh on his Twitch and and talking. He kind of I think pulled back the curtain a little bit. Well, he just he's essentially at this point they're like begging. They're just saying like, yo. We need support. We, you just need, you have to support the team. And it's like, right. it's fair to criticize us, which is uh, if we play poorly, you criticize the team. But the, uh, we just got here and you're already booing us. Yeah, I, I don't side with Chicharito on this. I think, it, look, it is a toxic fan base as far as the way they're we reacting. Were, we were at the Azteca and it was exactly yeah. that. They were booing. They booed b- us. <laughs> <laughs> they booed me and you. They, bo- they, were they stole our seats. <laughs> they were, they were the, bo- I was going to say, there's the Grant Wall story. Didn't someone like throw a hot dog at him or pour a beer on his laptop or something? Yeah. While he was oh, I Azteca? didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that. It's pretty. It's not. It's, it's not intense. A, it's intense. Yeah, it's a, it's a rough place to go. Sure. Azteca. Um, for that reason, it's a very intimidating place. But, but the fan base, you know, if they're doing that to the other team, if you're not playing well, they're going to turn on you. And they have every right to feel like this federation doesn't care about them. They're the ones that are, you know, putting their hard-earned money to go to these games, to follow this team, to go support in the World Cup. They're doing as much as they possibly can. And if you're not reciprocating, and they haven't been, the Tata Martino situation was not handled correctly. And there is a feeling that there is this old guard. I think part of the issue is, is that Mexico has a lot of very good players. They don't have a lot of great players. So there's almost, there's, it's almost impossible to appease everyone because there's so many players you couldn't, you can't call in, but I'm not sure there's a way to, uh, you know, to stack them in the right order so that they win a lot of games. But I I honestly don't think they're not going to win the nation's league. I don't think so either. They might not even, I mean, it looks like now the U S and them will meet in a semifinal because of the way it all broke up, broke down. But but this is one of these rare moments I think in uh, that we, uh, I don't know. I haven't really felt it that much in my lifetime and watching, watching soccer where it objectively feels like the U S team is just better than Mexico. Oh, leaps and bounds. And, and, and it's not even like a crazy thing to say, but if we said that five, six years ago, people be like, yo, you crazy. U S will never catch up. And it's like, not only have we caught up, but it, it is, it is it's looking like Mexico are, are going to be, you know, sort of relegated to so the the the, the low uh, quote unquote lower Concacaf. I mean, Nations League does have uh, relegation. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might end up in a B. But it, it's, you might be playing Cuba and Guadalupe. <laughs> <laughs> Who, by the way, qualified? <laughs> Cuba qualified, right? Bro. Right. So it's it's just looking very concerning. Uh, my main thing is, you know, and and I did agree with Chicharito's uh, uh, sentiment because it's a little bit much, bro. Oh, you know, don't boo us. We're millionaires. It's a it's a bit. Is that much. what he said? Don't boo us. Michael <laughs> Raymond, I think, said it best when he said Mexico. <laughs> and I think that's just honestly, I think that's all that has to be said. It's you not know? like they sold the country to David Beckham. <laughs> no, no, the the uh, so David Beckham marries Mexico. <laughs> it's Mexico, baby. They changed the YouTube title. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got you. I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't change it to that. No one's searching for Mexico. 
<laughs> so the uh, but I do agree with his sentiment in that simply you change it to nude photos of Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Someone will click on that. <laughs> Thumbnail's about to be crazy. Yeah. Um, nude photos of Mr. Beast found in Mexico. <laughs> there, I get. We got it. We got it. I, I, I look, I love a man willing to compromise. <laughs> so, I'll meet you halfway. <laughs> the uh, this is where I agree with um, with Chicharito. I I think the just the the uh, well, starts with the concept of them just the, the players getting booed as soon as they step on the pitch and then they're warming up there i i get criticizing the federation i get criticizing the coach but the, the, the players the players are essentially they're not they're not you know uh doing home invasions they're not hurting physically the players <laughs> they're going boo but before they're making a sound dude <laughs> I'm, I get there again. They're allowed to criticize, and Chicharito said the same exact thing. They're allowed to be frustrated with the team, but if there's literally no support whatsoever, what is the motivation? What is the excitement? Where is the excitement for? It's your job. You're playing for your nation, you, but you don't have to play for your nation. So then, don't. Someone else will. And so, okay. So if it should there not be any any perk, any reward, any pride. The, why would the players have pride when the fans that are going there to watch them are immediately booing before they even kick a ball? Who cares? I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm, this is what I, who cares is there has to be some level. If you and I get paid to do an hour and we walk out and they start booing from the beginning, you know what I'm boo, doing? Boo. My hour. <laughs> but I'm still telling my jokes, so I get paid and I go home. But if they're millionaires, they don't need they don't need the, uh, this particular job. So don't, and someone else will. There's an entire nation of football, and it will only lead to more failure if they if it's simply somebody else will because or, they don't or, have players like that. They don't have just a a a, 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 a Daphne. A robust <laughs> a cavalcade, if you a will. Cavalcade. <laughs> they don't have a bunch of players that are high, high quality that are dying to get on this team. But then someone else will if you don't want to. Uh, you know, uh, Vela didn't want to play or maybe wasn't called back. I don't know what the situation there. Mm -hmm. uh, Chicharito's not playing. Arguably, those are two very good players that would make this team better. They're not playing. There's other players in their place. Uh, well, look, but that seems like a, a good example. The fact that, that Chicharito and, and Vela and Chicharito's, uh, uh, you know, a little he, bit older, a little bit older, but he's had issues with the federation and blah blah. blah. We don't know exactly why it hasn't uh, worked out. Oh, but, they, but, but you want us to not boo them? No, no, no. But the fact that they that you know Chicharito has has said that he would accept the call up, but the the, the Vela Vela yeah, has by said. By the way, so would I. Okay, no one's calling me. <laughs> but Vela has said he he does not want to play for them anymore. And he's and I'm, I'm playing great for LAFC. I'm, they, I'm sure they would great. welcome they would welcome him uh, with open arms. So know. what maybe, does it say? What does it say about the culture of 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 you know the Mexican national team, the fan base? Maybe he's just like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. That they're a proud footballing country, and that they want they aspire to have a team that's better, and they hold you to a higher standard. And one of the easiest ways to let someone know you're frustrated with what they're doing is to make a sound. Boo. Before and now they jump even play. on your stream and go, how dare you boo us? Before you know, a billionaires are sensitive too. <laughs> boo them when they and lose. And by the way, they're billionaires in pesos. Boo them when they <laughs> lose. Boo them when they play poorly, not before the game even they starts. They have played poorly recently, so they get booed. Nah, bro. I don't understand. Why are we? Why are we? The, why are we protecting these? I guys? think the argument you guys are having is the exact disconnect between Chicharito and the fans. He's saying, "Well, why are you booing me? We haven't even started the game yet. You're not actually supporting the team." And they're all saying, "Bro, what have you been doing for the past however many months?" They're frustrated that these standards have yeah, fallen. Yeah, you've been trash, like you mentioned, Alexa. So I think you guys are both saying like just opposite sides of like why this is happening. You're Christian more on the player side, Alexis. You're coming more from the fans. Right, right. But they have to make, they have to be some level of compromise, right? And the comp well, compromise. I paid money to come see you. I've spent my entire life, I've got tattoos of, of your, of the flag, of your players, of your names. I've got, my kids are wearing your name on their back. I've wasted my time. I work all week so that on the weekend I get one day where I get to celebrate <laughs> my country playing this sport. You haven't done it well. You've shown me you don't care. You haven't shown me enough on the pitch. And I may Make a sound, and that's enough for you to jump on stream and say, how dare you? You're hurting our feelings. You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> I made a seven-layer dip for this, <laughs> and now I can't enjoy it See, while but, I eat it. Now it's an A-layer, and that layer is tears. <laughs> <laughs> but look, you're not even, you're, you're not, you're, look, you said the thing, the players show, have shown that they don't care. 
which is not to enough me, to me. Chicharito making that statement shows that he does care. There has to be some back and forth. Fine, Chicharito, you don't get booed on your. The stream. players have to appreciate the fans. No, but, but no, the players have to play. That's your job, bro. Yo, you gotta you gotta take some L for being rich, and you got you get paid <laughs> to play a game. You're literally getting paid. You got your family out the mud so you could kick a ball out the mud. This is this is part of it. You get booed when you don't do that job well. This is same what, way you. Get dropped. <laughs> this is one of those, you know, like when when Anne Hathaway is like, why am I being attacked on social media? She gets booed, bro. <laughs> and people are like, what did Anne Hathaway Yo. do? She's just a nice. <laughs> I can't be honest. I've never liked Anne Hathaway, bro. You wild, boring, yo. <laughs> but it's just why like, you so dull, just, Anne. Just because people are wealthy or celebrity what doesn't is there, mean the movie she was in Prada with heels. The devil wears heels. The devil wears Prada. <laughs> yeah, Alexis, that's it. This is what I hate. Alexis knows exactly. <laughs> The name of this I movie. Don't. I swear to God, for, I don't. For comedic effect, I'm, like, I'm gonna be an idiot. No, 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 no. <laughs> but if you think this is for comedic effect, what have you been paying? I boo you. What have you been doing for the last seven years? Weekly. <laughs> Lex is like the master plan. They all think <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot. Make them all think you're stupid together. and then prove it on a weekly basis. <laughs> hey, what's the end of your plan? I haven't got there yet. <laughs> I, know. We got I a, don't know money. We got a comment for, for Miguelito. It says, uh, Song Arium says, I love the producer. He's always coming in with level-headed takes even if it's about the train wreck that's chelsea <laughs> <laughs> it's fair i gotta keep i gotta be the level-headed one in the craziness bro ben skolnick said bland golden rule number 159 you get booted if you don't do your job right <laughs> and that's a pretty level -headed. imagine you're you did your job wrong and instead of firing you they just walked over and went boo <laughs> well you've been like I, that's kind of arguing all i'm arguing is don't boo before they do their job wrong they have been doing it wrong and it's clear it's, it's somehow this booing before they even begin uh, before they punch in it's not working what do you mean it's not working we're talking about it no they're Chicharito went on a stream they are, <laughs> me, the Mexican players are not performing to the level that they that they need to be so it, get your ass is, up. is the booing working I guess it's one of those uh, what, so you think it would be better to not boo at all to just sit there quietly boo them when they lose not before they play they are actively losing <laughs> by not playing to the standard that they have set well, okay. All right. Look. I mean, look. It's uh, not everywhere is America where we like. Hey, man, you tried your best. That don't happen in Mexico. <laughs> I'm just saying it's gonna lead to the the results that they're getting. I mean, I don't know. They're, they're they got those results without the booze. They got those results. Um, no, they they got, were bad they, without the booze. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> I mean, it's it's been pretty toxic for the last year. Essentially, it's been toxic for it. <laughs> it's bad now. And Maybe it's, the scenario looks, I said where the guy it, <laughs> waits all week. To it's looking Monday worse. Is not good. It's looking worse because the U.S. is thriving and they're doing very, very well. I was going to say, I think that's a big reason for it. They're starting to realize, oh, we're like actually below the United. Before it was kind of like 50-50. Oh, the U.S. would catch them here. Mexico is mostly dominant. Now it's like, oh, we're behind the U.S. We where would you to, place Mexico? Go right now in CONCACAF third uh, yeah third probably yeah yeah I would what would you be your first Canada or US Canada would, finished top of the group they did but US still I mean yeah, so I, in terms of like the full like collection of players you can choose from I would say US Canada yeah dude Mexico. Canada got eight good players it's just Me Mexico is just so like underperforming really they just uh, they, they genuinely haven't recovered since Aryan Robin dove the penalty on them in <laughs> 2000. I'm not like genuinely. Bro, you got Aryan, bro. The no era penal, bro. It was, uh, it's pretty crazy. So, um, you the, might not get to the, uh, the, the fourth partido, bro. Never mind the fifth. <laughs> <laughs>